Hi guys, how are you? Hi. Tatiana, good. How are you? Good. Uh, lovely. I had a wonderful time watching Last Letter to Your Lover. It was very, um, I thought it was going to be depression hours, but it was actually really heartwarming. So that's great. <laughs> um, Shaylee, my first question is for you. I know that you said Augustine is one of the reasons you wanted to work on the film. What is it that attracts you to her directing style? I mean, I'd never worked with her before, so I didn't really know what her directing style was on a physical set. I had seen... I, I had seen her first film and I had seen the, you know, bits of euphoria that she'd done. And I also just fell in love with her as a person. I met with her and I thought that she was really unique and groovy and saw the world through rare lenses and, and wasn't caught up in the tropes that are very easy to get caught up with in this industry. And uh, that's really what like made me want to work with her. You know, it's rare to find people who you creatively click with. And when you find them in a way, it's like finding a soulmate. You kind of just don't want to let them go. You want to explore what life and what journeys could be together with them. That's awesome. Uh, Callum, we know that Anthony led a very different life before he met Jennifer. Um, what is it that you think she inspired in him? Well, for the first time, he's, he's able to be himself. She, she inspires a goodness. She... Um, by being around her, he wants to improve as a person um, and finds himself being present, stops drinking, wants to live a life that he hasn't understood before. And, and, and it's so inspiring when uh, someone's able to commit like that. And I think that's part of the, tra the tragedy of this movie um, is that, you know, she's, she's unfortunately married when they meet. Yeah, and speaking of that marriage, when we meet Jennifer... <laughs> she and Lawrence are already very much on the rocks. Uh, so Shailene, can you talk a little bit about what you think led them there? Like, why is she so unhappy in her life with him? I think that Lawrence and Jennifer never knew how to practice vulnerability or honesty with one another. I don't think there was ever a safe space to engage in anything further than what lies on the surface. And I think a lot of people find themselves in relationships like that where you know, I definitely think that Larry Lawrence like yearns for a deeper connection as well. But I think that he's built walls around himself that, you know, by self, by self determination, he won't allow anyone inside. And I think that Jennifer is a very deep person who craves emotional connection and craves emotional intimacy. And yet, because she doesn't feel safe around Larry, she builds her own walls up to him. And you just have these two people who are afraid to, um, be sensitive and vulnerable with one another because they don't know how to be. And when she meets Anthony, I think she sees someone who, who does kind of live his life with on his sleeve and who is free in his own right. And I think that that immediately disarms her and helps break down her barriers that she's built so that she can feel safe in his presence and, and safe to really be who she wants to be. Love that. Um, I really love that it feels like there's a lot of layers and messages uh, in the film beyond just being a rom-com or a mellow romance, if you will. Um, so, Callum, I was just wondering, um, we see Ellie, Felicity Jones' character, learning from your story uh, in the film. So is there anything that you took away from or learned from the story of Jennifer and Anthony? Definitely. I, I, um, I, when I read the script, I was broken hearted because, because of, of the, the time that they spent apart. We, and, you know, what, what I realized was that you only have one life and th this whole existence is painted in, in, in the space of 400, 500 pages or, or two hours now. And, and well, just to really um, go for it and don't hold back and don't stand on the, on the edge of the cliff looking down, just jump see what happens. Absolutely. That is definitely a good lesson to learn. <laughs> um, finally, I think it's so great to have a film about communicating through letters after a year of everyone having to communicate, you know, through different screens or otherwise impersonal methods. Do you guys have any particularly uh, favorite method of staying in touch with loved ones? Mine is letters for sure. I'm, I, I really am pretty bad at the texting thing. I like a good FaceTime. I like a yeah, FaceTime. FaceTime. Or chat on the phone, FaceTime, definitely. Yeah, yeah. I like that's FaceTime my too. that's my vibe more than texting. It's just there's only so much like you can flirt over text. You can like, you know, I ha I guess have like a basic check in, but you, you can't really divulge into like the richness of life over text. I find that's true. Um, <laughs> well, thank you guys so much. I love the film. I can't wait for everyone to watch it.